What's up, man? Just bugging. Hey, man. So, where are we at? At the Vito factory of Ocal. Check the links down in the description and get all your MP parts there. Yep. We're going to be picking up a carpet kit with the 1970 yellow beetle. Hopefully they have it in stock for us. Yes, and look, there's Bert. Hey, Bert. Hey. Pulling the 63 out. Yeah. With our 1970 yellow VW Beetle. It's time. And to what are we doing today? The carpet. Yeah, woohoo! The MB7 piece carpet kit for the front all the way to the rear seat, and then the five piece kit that goes in the rear all the way to the rear window. Yep, so today we're gonna show you step by step how to install that. And we just wanted to say this video is presented by the VW Factory of Ocala along with MP USA. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get your MP on at your authorized MP dealer. Yes, so near let's you. Let's go over what we need to have to do this job. Let's go know. check out this supplies well of course you're gonna need the carpet kit <laughs> let's start with the five piece black kit see your part number right there and Dalton's got it right up here this is the rear kit you know fender wells package tray and you got the seven piece kit and this is from the rear seat to the front to your tow board up under your dash so of course you're gonna need some scissors for some trimming a razor blade with some sharp razor blades grease pencils so where you're gonna overlap your carpet over another you're gonna want to glue over one you don't want to glue too far and all of a sudden you lay the carpet down and now you got glue all over it so I use a grease pencil on the body or maybe a piece of tape on the carpet you know that's why you're gonna need your tape so you don't get the glue where you don't want it to be and a couple of trim paddles or so so you can tuck it up into the package tray or whatever and of course the 3m 90 high strength adhesive because it's got the adjustable tip on it and then some paper towels and your WD-40 liquid wrench whatever so if you get the glue on the carpet or on the body and the painted surfaces you can spray this on a paper towel and you you know, right when it happens, get right to it and it'll take it right off. So let's get started. Right, guys here we go let's get started as you can see we're looking at the package tray I had to get in here and straighten up some areas that lifted from the headliner and I can see I got a little patch job on the right and the left and let you all know when you put in a headliner apparently I didn't get it far enough back it's a little too forward so when things like this happen sometimes you just gotta save your pieces and come up with an area to hide it because you see this carpet here it's gonna go here I ran out of area headliner would have been brought a little bit more back it would have gave me that little corner there and lesson learned and you can see this carpet will come where you can put it all the way up there I don't really like that look we have that in the 66 wannabe and Dalton even says he doesn't like it so what we do here is we're gonna take this I'm gonna come up and tuck this into here we will have our carpet up to this point and get your little paddle tuck it down far enough in there so I'm gonna get to that it's gonna be a little bit of a booger I like to take this and glue this area first glue down in there you know put some masking tape on here so I don't get it up where I don't want it then glue this area and then I'll tuck it in there and get it where I want it and get that sitting on there and get it to where it's dry of course dry on dry put some here put some there wait five ten minutes you could put it down too soon and regret it but a little longer is not gonna hurt it's still gonna tack up you know and adhere to it so these areas got to go down first because as you can see let me pull this back it is sewn up on the edges anywhere where these edges are sewn and not sewn this is going to overlap that so I'm going to take my mask and take get a good idea where I'm gonna go thought there and take baby wipes and get that stuff out and same with some liquid wrench and you can get the glue off carpet real quick so want my mask and tape just so I don't mess everything up Take your mask and tape figure out where you're gonna be 
I already kind of put this one up there. I like it right there. I'm gonna be able to come around, tuck it in there. And you're gonna try to avoid as much wrinkles, but you're gonna get some wrinkles in this area right here. So about where I want. And then my carpet's gonna come down here, that little area there. When your seat's back right here, you want to see it. It's my car. Eventually it'll be someone else's car, but some things you gotta live with and go on and don't do it again next time. So this is just to protect my headliner and don't get any glue splatter. And then I can come up to that point and I lay it down and pull my tape off beforehand. Pull it back like that. So you get what I'm doing. I'm pull my tape across here, right here like that. And then I know I want to stay up above that. So, of course, let's not get any glue on our door panel. Tape is a good thing when it comes to this. Go around the corner with that. All right, yeah, you see what we got here? Let's do it on the other side. So I'm gonna get my tape on there and then spray the glue here, spray the glue there. Wait about five, 10 minutes. It's kind of why you wanna do two areas. So you can get something done. Like I said, I got this one kind of placed where I want it. That bugs you, I'm OCD. I'm taking that back off and painting it. I was trying to get it to secure the door panel and come back, if you're curious. All right, nice. All right, you get the gist of it. Got my tape set up. Give me an idea where the glue needs to go down. That way you're not getting where you don't want to get. There we go. That's one side. I like to go around the edge that you're concerned with first. And then this area really don't so it matter. All right. Gonna be a beautiful car. All right, like I said, get close to where the rope is up the edge. And you can just put it on. I might need three cans. I'm about done with this can. All right, well, I'm gonna wait my five to 10 minutes. Be back and put this down. Then we can get on with the package tray. This piece here, go to the front. All right, it's time. Let's get to sticking her down. Let's start here first. Do you want that in there? Okay, we can pull it back off. Get us a better bite. All right, cool. Not bad. Actually, that is much less wrinkles in that area than I did the last carpet job I did. And you see, I don't have a glue mark up there. And it's above the fender line. So it'll stay, keep from coming off of that fender well. And pull this up a little bit. Get stuck in there a little better. I like that. Yeah. Huh. Gives me some ideas on this one. All right, see that one's down nice and tight. Trying to get that. Further. I think that's it. I'll have to come in here with a razor blade and trim some of that off. Get my tape out of here before it doesn't want to come out. See y'all, y'all can do this yourselves. I mean, you're gonna make some little mistakes, but start back here, learn back here, because you're rarely ever gonna pull a seat back, especially if you put a panel back here, a couple speakers. I mean, it's not gonna bug you. Learn back here and get up here where it really matters and everybody's gonna see. But the more you do it, the better you get. But don't get upset with these wrinkles. It's really at the bottom. Seats are up. When it's down, you're putting your groceries back here or whatever. All right, so I'm gonna get ready for the other piece. A nice sharp razor on there. So and cut that edge off here and we're going to start seeing how you're supposed to do that part all right guys trying something different this time normally when i put it up there not all the way up here like they put the bow in it i use this side because it's already straight well as i did that these corners come way out here and i don't want that and i like the rope where it narrows in sewing stitching on the side so we'll see what i want to do is when i get it down into that groove that's going to be down in there and that's going to look nice and it's going to you know contour into the center so so that's what I came up with and I like it. So I'm going to take some masking tape, like I always do. Don't want that looking nasty down in there. Take that and carefully put it there. We don't want to really get down in there and then the tape wants to pull it up. So, and I, but I don't want that area to look nasty. Let's do that. We don't want anything over here. See where our carpet's gonna lay so we know exactly where not to get the glue. We don't want it anywhere past there. What's that look like? That looks good. You get what I'm saying? Don't wish you did put some tape somewhere yeah see if that's enough all right you get the gist of it now i'm only going to glue half of it oh oh boy see thank god for the tape so let's get this hold this in so you don't get any glue on the other side of the curb 
What do y'all think? Not that bad. Hope I'm helping you out. I'm sure there's many other methods and other ways that people have learned to do it. And I'm sure there's going to be some people that want to correct me the way I do mine. But, you know, I'm just trying to help y'all out. Working for me. You could go pay some high-end shop if you'd like, or you could try to do it yourself. So I'm going to let this tack up. All right, guys. Get your paddles. Let's get this up and get it above that. Perfect. Looking pretty good. This off of here. That looks pretty good. Now that we have that up there, and my sides don't look too bad, they look about the same, so tis what it tis. All right, let's put some tape down here. Make sure we don't go any further. That ought to do it. Take this, roll it up. All right, you're back up to where you were. Go ahead and pull my tape out of the way. Looks like you get some glue over here. Just make sure you, when you're reaching for the liquid wrench, you don't reach for your adhesive spray. So I'm going to wait for that tag and put it down. And then we're going to come across this. All right, we're back on that. That's down. So let's make sure. Still, I just always feel like I'm going to hit the area. I don't want my glue on. So that right there. Put some glue on there. I went across the edge of this and cut it. You see, I got this down. Of course, like I said, you're gonna get your little wrinkles. I don't want any more glue on this thing. Cause I'm gonna come back Let's not make it a mess. Something I should have done before, but a lot of work to do and not a lot of help. That ought to do it. Tack for a bit. Pull this off at the, the last moment. Yeah, see, my phone didn't go far enough down here. Just lessons learned, y'all. These are things that can happen. This is my, I want to say fourth carpet job, fourth or fifth headliner job. Got to improve on some of these areas, the difficult areas. So let's go ahead and push this up in here. I'm going to get this oil in here and get this piece ready for next. Okay, here we go. The last piece in the package tray. And it goes a little something like this. I'm going to trim this down, cut across here. I'll go ahead and glue down there, and then I can cut there, and it'll stay. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, guys, there's the package tray area. Looks pretty sweet. Doesn't look too bad. All right, guys, for a good point of reference, mark about where your shifter was. Because we're going to remove it. Not that hard to adjust them, but... Just kind of get you an idea where it was. I want it out of the way. All right, we're going to get this removed. And then we're going to get to putting the piece on the firewall. These two pieces. And then that piece will go. And then that piece will go. And, of course, these pieces. So the last piece that goes down is this one and this one. All right, but we'll get into that. All right, guys. What we're going to do here is put these side pieces on. And there's some trimming required. You want to base everything off of usually this coming here oh yeah another thing get in here and run your speaker wires put speakers in the back now is the time to do it and see i go up through there and the carpet should hide all that that'll be a little impression but oh well it'll be fine so normally you base that on this coming down and then look what you got here and then you get all that showing so you want that there and you want that there and then your carpet's going to come all the way up here so that'll be fine the carpet goes here but i'd rather have that than all that showing right in there so let's take a trim based on this one up here a trim out here see what that gives us i think that should be fine and we'll trim that one when we get to it so you're going to want to put this under here and get it all to go into there you're going to pry this up right here and then you're going to try to get this lip down in it. I've got a sill that's going to go across here. And hoping this doesn't get in the way of it. It shouldn't, you wouldn't think. But we're about to find out. All right, well, stay tuned. I'm going to get this all worked up under here. All right, guys. We're going to get back to it. I saw something. I'm sure if anybody else gets an easier way around it. But if you can look at this other one, the carpet comes a little bit further over the lip. This one doesn't seem to do it. Well, I found it easier to trim a little bit of that off. And then it just falls into place so just a little tip you may have an easier way to do it than i do but i found it easier to trim about a quarter inch of that excess carpet off and you can get it in there that just seems to walk in so you can take your mallet push it on in there 
Now you're gonna come down here and you're gonna see that you're gonna have to trim that a little bit, a little bit, and that'll do it. There it is. So make sure it's all the way in there. See, it's gonna wanna pop out. And now I'm gonna find out what my silt is gonna fit here. You need to go over and repeat that on that side. Now I'm really curious how that seal is gonna fit. Grab one. There it is. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. It's a beautiful car. All right, well, we'll get to this one later. We're going to get to the other side, duplicate that, and then we'll get into this. And you can see that the opening is here. This one would be that one over there, meaning there's no stitching right here. Looking nice. All right, like I said, I'm going to get to that side and I'll get back with you. All right, guys, I had a little easier time getting that side on there. I just kind of laid it out in the sun, let this get a little warmed up, you know, spread it all the way down, and then it went on a little easier. Now, as we were talking about before, see where it's sewn on the edges of it, and it's not over here. Of course, that's where the other piece is going to overlap. So, for instance, you see it on this, and then you don't see it there. You see it up here, and then all the way along here, and you don't see it there. So that'll tell you that that this is going to be your first one. Of course, I'm going to need to get that off of there. I didn't paint this car. And the fuse box. That was taped over so that a paint didn't go up there, I guess. Anyways, let's get back to the carpet. This goes here. I'm going to glue this here first. Then I'm going to come in and lay this one there. Of course, here's the steering column. That part right there. And that's going to go across. So I'm going to get this one in here first. I'm going to go over there and get that one in there. And then we'll get this one in there. And then it's just two more pieces. Of course, you get to get the right cut here and get the right cut here which i'm not going to remove that pain in the butt but you got to get your cut right so you can move it back so we'll get to that let me get these two pieces up now this is where your grease pencil would come in see i'll take this and screws out of the way put that like this i want to come under there see it's supposed to be like that so it comes under this now you don't really want to stick up there so you're going to put it like that and over here so I'm going to take my grease pencil, and I know I'm right there. So, you know I'm going to keep this a little high here because my wiring is in there. Yeah. So, I'll take my grease pencil, which is going to come off real easy, and then straighten this out. So, basically, I'm going to come this way. Now, I know where to put my glue. Let's get to gluing. That way, I don't even really need any tape unless you're afraid to, you're going to the wrong area. Let me get this screw out. Just flap out of the way so I don't get glue on it. And uh, we'll get to glue this side. All right. Another thing I don't know if I pointed out. See the bubbles? It's a good way to tell whether it's ready is if the bubbles have popped. Yeah, you'll still have a couple of them up, but I can feel it dry on dry. It feels dry to your hands, but it's like Velcro. All right, let's get this bad boy in here. Turned up nice. Now this is gonna go on the bottom carpet, so let's leave this up. The bottom carpet's gonna go there. And I didn't put any glue there, so leave that up like that. Now you can go back here and get your grease pencil. And this is gonna come over and go over that. That'll be good. There we go. The other ones are covered. Right, see, easy grease pencil off of there. No, it's not covered because it's brake cleaner. Not too bad on paint. All right, so I'm gonna go over and stick that one on. Let's see where you start up at the top. Let's see if you go in a little bit. With your glue, it's not gonna show. Try to get that wrinkle go further down. All right, let's leave that there. And get my marker off later, and this will go over. All right, so I look good. All right, now it's time for that one. As you can see, I'm laying on my side. I'm gonna get a feel of it. It's meeting over there. I don't want too much up here where it won't be able to tuck in. So your glue is gonna stop when it hits the top. Stop when it hits the top. Now, this is gonna stay down. This gives you a good reference here. You can see it's gonna open up a little there. So I don't want my glue all up in there. It's not really gonna come over anymore because of this one. So don't get your glue all up in here. And then down here, you can trim this later. Just let it hang. You're really only gonna glue everything here and everything here. But when you get to this, don't glue anywhere from here down because this is going to be where you want to get to your brake master bolt. And to this side, you can glue down, but it kind of just gives it more room if you just let this hang right here. It's going to tuck behind things, you know, under your pedal, around your rod. It's going to stay there. This you want to glue up to here and up. So I'm going to get my glue on this piece and on the back, and I'll set that up. This is a fun piece to climb under there and get. So as you see, dry on dry, touch it. It's like Velcro. This side doesn't have any glue on it. This is where the master cylinder push rod goes through. So, let's 
but you know, you want to be able to access that, you know, to glue your way out of there. Fun, fun, fun. And you can't do this by yourself. Nice. Get it up in there. So you don't pull it back over. Ain't like what it did there. But, i sure the other carpet's gonna hit that. That looks good. Now, don't forget the other pieces going there. So back over to here. Let's straighten this out. And see now, let's lay that in the flap. Concerns you to come back and trim some off. Well, it's going to stay down. Looking good. All right, it's getting close. Now for that piece. Give me a little break. Two more pieces to go. Or actually four, but this is easy. Our part of that's almost pretty much over. So now these are going to come up. All right, guys. So I went ahead and laid this in here. Get to feel how it's going to fit. And the last time I think I came up short here, I had to put another piece underneath it. Save all your trimmings that you have of your carpet or from other carpet jobs in case you miss something. Now, this area doesn't actually fit from there to there once the seats go in here you never see this but you want to get it closer over here i take usually like the piece i cut out from there i take the piece of that and put it in here in case i come up to where i can see underneath it or like if you this bugs you pull it back spray some black paint there so you, if that bugs you so this hasn't been glued down this hasn't been glued down all the way around this is just laid down I cut to fit this in here, and uh, like I said, it's not going to cover that area, and then I put my piece down there just in case, you know, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's like insulation. You may or may not have that problem, you know, but I'm just letting you know it's not the end of the world if it does happen. You can correct it with a little piece, but you don't want that right there. You want this to cover this one. This has got the stitch on the outside. And then get your razor blade. I left my bolts in here so I could find my shifter, and then you can go ahead all right so i'm going to cut that out so i know where it is or you can get cut it out later after you glue it down whichever just giving you an idea i'm going to pick this back up and glue this one down first then i'll glue that one of course this will go down first then that and this one this one this and then this will be last we're almost there guys and it is hot all right so you don't necessarily have to do this i do it myself because i've came up short and most likely by putting it on myself making a mistake i came up short so we're gonna get ready to glue this down now i got that piece down to do that or not do it i just do it because i come up short i don't have to worry about it no one's really gonna notice that so i'm gonna come back down and see where the glue needs to go I can go down with this one. I know you're all wondering why I put the half inch foam down, but I like it where the carpet is plush. Some of you might not like that, but I do. Put this one down. See, when the seat's in there, no one's going to see that. It doesn't really matter. That doesn't really need to be there. And this is all right. I'm come back in here with my tape. All right, then I'm going to go to the other side, glue that down on a little piece. Okay, I'm going to go ahead while I'm over here and do this. So, I know that's going to go there. And I wish it had come down further. Well, remember when I told you I was wondering why that laid this on top of that? Well, I was wrong. It's been a while. It's on this too, so go figure. But uh, that will get on first. Then this will go on top of that. So, I'm going to make a little pair like I did over there and stick this small piece. So, that's right. I'm going to put that down in here. And then when this comes down, this will be right there. That'll look nice. That'll work. See, my carpet wasn't really necessary down there, but I learned and I don't want a, a hole going for some shiny silver. This is, you're not going to see when the seat goes in. All right, so got my tape down here. Tell where it's going to go. And then I'm going to glue here all of this. Pull it down, pull it there. Let it dry. Pull it over here. So you get the idea. Hey, guys, so we got the other side done. And I'm coming over here. I've glued down to here about where I'm going to cut my holes there. I started on them. And they ended up in a slightly different spot. So learn from G. Man, <laughs> looking good. I've still got to put some glue down here, and then I've got to glue this. So we're almost done, and she's looking pretty good. You might see. Now, I did add my piece here in case something doesn't make it here. I added something here because it kind of looked like it was coming up short, but it's not, so it's fine. 
I mean, you could trim these out, but sometimes you find out you trimmed a little too soon and you come up short. So let's not do that. All right, so let me get this glued and this glued and we will be done. All right, guys, I got it all down. Pretty nice. Can't wait to see the seats in here. And I hope that helps you out. I had a few little difficult areas in it at no fault of the product, just at fault of the installer myself. But just to let you know, I've only done it less than a half a dozen times. Yeah, you'd think I'd have it by now, but I think it looks great. Tell me what you think, and hope I helped you out. And get out to your MP authorized dealer and pick up your MP carpet and do it yourself. You'll be happy with it. Thank you. Have a great day. Just bugging. Hey guys, it's Dawn, and man did G-Man do a great job on that carpet install. Check the link down in the description and get all your MP parts at the V-Dub factory of Ocala or at your local MP authorized dealer near you. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, want to show some support to the channel, drop a like, drop a comment, letting us know if this video helped you. If you know of anybody that needs help installing their carpet kit, then share this video. And also hit that subscribe button and help us reach 2,000 subscribers so we can have another giveaway for our VW family. This Sunday, September 4th, the Just Bugging crew will be at the Air 2 Water Show at Napleton of Orlando. So come on out and bring your VW and let's have a good time. Have a just bugging of a day. And stay tuned for more videos on the 1970 Yellow Beetle. <coughs> <coughs> oh,